All right, well, as you can see, he's not big, but he is a species of smallmouth, which quite frankly, in my humble opinion, is one of the premier species that we have. So there he goes, cute little guy. Welcome back, folks, to another video with Fly Fishing with Jeff. It is June 4th, and I am on one of the finest, if not the finest, streams in Indiana, and that's Sugar Creek. And we're going to do a little fishing for smallmouth, obviously, as we work our way down today and the next, actually, couple, three days. The water is gorgeous right now. Uh, had a little bit of rain this last week. And so it's just a little bit more flow and a little more level than what we've had, which is good, but it's awful nice, real nice and clear. So <clears throat> come along and um, boy, I hope I can show you a lot of big fish and maybe help you out a little bit on how better to catch our native trout species, the smallmouth bass. Come here, baby. He ain't heavy, but I'll take him. Let's get you unbuttoned and get you back in. <clears throat> and again, we're looking, right now, we're making long casts over into this pool. And there's a lot of rocks, a lot of structure. I'm getting a lot of follows, but unfortunately not too many big fish. Boy, another beautiful fish. did come back for it. Thank you. All right. Not huge, but he's better. Oh, it's a gar. Well, there you go, Mr. Needlefish. That's what you get for slashing at my fly. Easy now. You guys get an attitude early. I like it. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Helped me out because it came back. I just let it go. All 
Alright. Where are the big fish today? Got to find the big fish. Can't find them. Just can't find them today. Big fish strike. following it all the way across from the big rock. Like I said in one of my other videos, if you see that happening, just go ahead and let the fly stall out. <clears throat> Swim it in place. They'll come and find it. Alright, that's maybe the best, the best fish today even. Which I guess isn't saying much, but it is. Come here now. Get you undone here. There, pretty fish. Probably 14, 13. Let's let you go back. And let's go try that pool again here. Well, once again, it's small, but <clears throat> boy, talk about a beautiful, absolutely beautiful spot. <clears throat> and right where he should have been, and under there hanging under the trees waiting for his meal to come by boy look at the beautiful spots stripings on that little guy all right man go grow up see you in about 10 or 12 years <clears throat> beautiful to take. Darn. Let's try that again. So I'm trying to make a cast and the belly's going to form in the line and start to pull it. Now I'm really just high sticking and retreating the fly on down. Yeah, let's try it again. Ah. There we go. I felt it that time. Oh, it's a good fish. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. I don't think he's a monster, but we're moving in the right direction. And again, he was right where he should have been in that flow, in that pool right there. And by letting my fly, the belly pull my fly through that pool, the fly was going in the right direction to be swimming downstream and into this ambush point. All right. Nice. Beauty. Let's get you unhooked here, bud. Yep, I know. Easy. Easy. Ooh, you did it to yourself good that time. All right, another beauty. Look at that, that's just a pretty picture. What a beautiful fish. All right, and away you go.